My name is Christian Bollock. I'm responsible for material research uh, within Wageningen University and Research. We focus on uh, materials made out of plant resources. Uh, and sometimes those materials are biodegradable. Uh, and can be used again, so are also renewable. But those materials also can be reused as a product or as a material. That also is renewable. But we also look at reuse of regular plastics that are also renewable materials. So it's a, a, a big portion of uh, materials we use. You have three routes you can use. You can uh, directly use the polymers that are made by nature, for instance starch, to make a plastic. The second route is to convert the, the polymers that are made by nature into bio-based building blocks and then from these building blocks polymerize them into plastics. A third one is to use microorganisms to convert the biomass into polymers. So bio-based plastics or plastics can be used for a lot of different um, applications um, and for one is of course packaging. And packaging we only use for a short period of time. Actually, it's a shame because most plastics have really durable characteristics. So there you see there's not a lot of difference in the materials that we use, for instance, in the bioplastics that are uh, meant to use for a packaging material or meant to use for a more durable product. In fact, that's a pity, but it is like it is. Bio-based uh, materials, um, main benefit is we don't use a fossil resource. So we all know from fossil resources use, we have the, the climate uh, change uh, happening. So to have the shift from fossil to bio-based is a shift from um, uh, fossil carbon to renewable carbon. So that's, that's the main reason to do this. I see the role of renewable materials uh, being part of the circular economy. So we want to get to a situation where we use for say 95% of all our materials, we want to use it again. But we also, also know we will not get 100%. So when you want to have the last 5%, use a renewable material uh, uh, that can be a bio-based material for that. that. That's my vision of the future. When you make a material, you need uh, a source to make your material. Uh, so, uh, related to fossil resources, uh, you have the climate, but related to plant sources, you also have to take care. You don't want to chop down our rainforest in, in using your materials, and you also don't want to have uh, detrimental uh, labor conditions that, uh, used to make your materials. So, you still have to take care uh, when using bio-based materials. Also, land use is a, is a topic when you use bio-based uh, sources. Um, of course, what is interesting, you have a renewable source. So every year you grow a new material. So that's a, that's a, a very big plus. But um, looking at the amount that you need to replace all our uh, plastics, that in fact is, uh, of course, a big amount, but it's not comparable to the use we have for foods, for instance. Um, so when you look at uh, converting all chemical industry into a bio-based uh, uh, sources, that is possible now, uh, as we are looking at only the, the, the sourcing. Um, a big challenge is more to feed the world. Uh, and also when you look to energy production, when you only are relying on biomass resources, then the world is also too small but only focusing on the chemical industry, more specifically uh, in, in plastic industry, it is possible and uh, viable to use um, biomass resources instead of fossil resources. <laughs>